I'm still strong. I still believe our path is correct and good for Israel. But this is the right decision for now. Tsipi Livni is the woman who was nearly prime minister, twice, twice on the brink of power, and then twice ousted from her own faction, which then crashed and burned under a new leader. Tsipi Livni started her political life in the right-wing Likud party, a former Mossad agent and lawyer elected to the Knesset 20 years ago. When the Likud split over the Gaza disengagement in 2005, she joined the centrist Kadima party headed by Ariel Sharon, motivated to guarantee Israel's existence as a Jewish and democratic state by leading a territorial separation from the Palestinians. Livni became foreign minister and one of Israel's most recognizable faces on the world stage, the country's most powerful woman, leading the Olmert government's peace negotiations with the Palestinian Authority and pushing for the UN Security Council Resolution 1701, which ended the Second Lebanon War. In 2008, Livni had her moment. Olmert forced to resign under a cloud of corruption allegations. I am hopeful, Mr. President, that the Israeli leadership will take the right action and that I will be able to present you with a stable government that will gain the trust of the Knesset and the people of Israel. But the ultra-Orthodox Shas refused to join her government and Israel went to elections. We have to make the peace process move forward. It's a word we no longer dare pronounce. We come across as naive if we do, but I'm keeping my feet firmly on the ground. 2012, Livni formed her own party, the Movement, entering Netanyahu's government as Justice Minister and Chief Negotiator with the Palestinians during the Obama-sponsored talks. Then Netanyahu fired her, and she seemed on the cusp of beating him again and becoming Premier, running together with the Labour Party as the Zionist Union. But the Zionist Union fell short and Livni returned to the opposition. When Labour elected a new leader, they didn't get along, and he cut her loose without warning, humiliating her in front of the cameras. Livni vowed to fight on, presenting herself as the only woman who could save Israeli democracy. But voters thought otherwise, and the latest I-24 News Yisrael Hayom poll put her on only 1%, failing to pass the threshold. Israeli politics are famously brutal, and yet political comebacks have been staged before, and politicians written off have come back fighting when the time was right. But for now, Sipi Livni out, not with a bang, but a whimper. Farewell and make peace. Elon Levi, 24 News.